Hello, welcome back. So, in the last episode, we're investigating this damn murder. Mysterious man. Jedi, I hear you are investigating the summary murder child. This case is not at all what it appears to be. The many currents, might I say, flow beneath the surface. What do you mean? This murder is much more complicated than it may first appear. The Sunri and Elasa are proxies for their governments, and both sides want the other to fail. You can see the journey by the footprints. You understand, yes? Uh, I think so, kind of. I'm saying they both had something to do with it. They both get their hands in this from the start. If you want to get to the bottom of this murder, you might seek information from both the Sith and the Republic, likely in their embassies. They just give it to me? No, of course not. You think state secrets are for sale on the common market? You would have to be mm -hmm. devious to get what you want. Heed my advice, Jedi, and you may yet find the truths in this murder. Uh, oh, goody. Well, they walked around the corner and disappeared. Oops, you know what? Republic Embassy is right here. Security drawing. So, Roland. Um, have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? No, I have not. Time is a critical factor. We cannot allow the Sith to decode that data recording. Well, screw you. I'm gonna enter your building and do some searching. Computer. Room. So you're the one who's gonna try to get into the Sith base, eh? Huh. Good luck. You're gonna need it. This is our main computer room here. We got the box of pass cards we got from the Sith, but we haven't been able to break their encryption yet. We have been able to decode the numeric system they use, but there are holes in our terminal sequence patterns. Uh, what do I have to do? The encryption system is composed of six matrices. Each is based on a mathematical method. The holes we're missing are the final number in each of the strings. Most are simple, but the final two matrices seem to be much more difficult. The second last matrix has a pattern looping back on itself, or something. And the last is divided into smaller subparts. Maybe the pattern for that is within each part. But I have to admit, all this is a bit over my head. I haven't even been able to slice past the first matrix. I've been at this for hours. I've ruined a dozen cards already. But the good thing is, we have a whole box of them, so you don't have to worry about running out anytime soon. Since Roland said you were cleared, you can use the computer freely. I'll be here if you have any questions. Ooh. Large computer. Computer slice Republic system. Open submarine bay doors, access restricted data. Hmm. <sighs> Fine. The computer switches to a fish eye view from the sort of a beautiful young woman enters the room, followed by a much older man. As she walks further into the room, he softly closes the door, pulls the blaster, and shoots her in the back. This must be some sort of circuit recording of Sun Ray murdering us. Okay, so... This is Arbiter, however, you found data recording that clearly shows Sunray killing the Sith woman, Alasa. Can you continue your role of Arbiter impartially, knowing that your client has committed such a crime? Let's go talk to his wife, then talk to him. This is not the direction I'm going. Probably breaking to the Sith base before finishing this quest. Just to see if we can find anything in there.
Koto Distribution Center. I cannot talk right now. Alto West. True Sith dies out century hills. No, they're not. They're living on Roman Kaf. Alora! I hear you've been appointed as Arbiter in Sunri's. Uh, was Sunri having an affair? What? Don't insult us both. Sunri's. Sunri is a just and honorable man. How dare you accuse him? Us. Now, now, Elora. We're not here to pass judgment, my dear. Dun, dun. We do need to know everything if we're here to help, yes? Yes. Yes, he was having an affair. He was seeing that... That Sith woman. After all these years we've been together, he just... Just dropped me like that. Not publicly, or no. But inside... That's what it feels like. He started seeing Alasa last year. I, I had my suspicions for a while, but he was careless. Pretty soon everyone knew. But even though I'm sure that harlot was only using him, I know he couldn't have killed her. He came and confessed to the affair to me. He said he was going to there to break it off, to end it. Maybe the Sith woman attacked him, and, and he had to defend himself. But even though he cheated on me, inside he's still the man I loved. Yeah. Too kind and gentle to have killed him. <coughs> uh, he is a soldier, though. That was a long time ago, in a war far, far away. He's changed now, settled down. Oh, just please prove his innocence. Uh, okay. Find Let's go talk to him and then just go into the damn sit base and find him in there and complete the mission. Jolly. Coming to check in on an old man? I must confess, I... I would rather you were here to speak to the Warden and begin my trial. Soon, old friend. We don't want to go to trial until we've got the whole picture. Oh, I grow weary of staring at these four bare walls. But I suppose you know what you're doing. Bum, bum, bum. No, the role of Arbiter cannot be taken lightly. No, I can't. Uh, let's go over the evidence. Well, I was at the hotel, I admit, and I did meet Alasa there that night, but it's not what you think. I, uh, I was working with Republic Intelligence. We were pretending to feed information to the Sith. Well, I turned Alasa into a double agent working for us. It was going well, too, until she turned up dead. Maybe the Sith had found out I was turning her and had her eliminated. But let's look at the facts they've given. Alasa was brutally killed. Think about that. She was a Sith, trained in battle, and I'm just a crippled old man. My war injuries make it difficult for me to walk, even to hold things. See how my hands are shaking? How could I kill a Sith warrior at close quarters? I ask you. Further, they say they found my heroes cross at the crime scene. Could I leave my war medal behind if I killed someone? Even that's stupid. Obviously, the Sith planted the cross. And what about the lack of forensic evidence? Skin and hair samples, clothing fibers. Why isn't there anything like that at the crime scene? Sounds like an obvious frame-up to me. I hope you can see how the Sith are manipulating the cell cat, and probably even you to set up this against me. We need to get this over with quickly and clear my name. Anything else I can help you with? I want my Arbiter to be well prepared before we go to trial. Uh, Very well. I suppose there is still much you must do before the trial. Once you've gotten enough evidence to go to trial, just tell the Warden we're ready. The sooner I get out of the cell, the better. Journal entry added. Sunray claims that he's been set up by someone to take the fall for his Alasa's murder. He claims that he was secretly trying to turn her into a double agent for the Republic and the Sith would most likely kill her as a result of that. Okay, I'm looking this up. Backslash walkthrough. 
I don't think the last time I did this mission, I just kind of let him be a sentence. Uh, I gotta do a lot of scrolling here. Jesus Christ. Props to the person who actually wrote this damn thing out. Damn. Damn to me. Oh, Jesus Christ. I'm way down. Okay, so I am doing two things at once here. So... I'll go back to the Jedi Embassy and talk to that dude. Scroll down, scroll down, scroll down. I nuked a paw. Okay, I passed it. Going up. Uh, a little further up. Oh, son of a bitch, he doesn't have anything on the damn murder trial. That's fucking lovely, man. This is back to the beginning. Whoops. Okay, so let's check another guide. How about you? Come on. I want to know what exactly to do. If not, I'm just sending things to do in the jail. Scroll, 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 wait, what the? You're a great map. Excuse me. I'm looking at my iPod, I'm not looking at the screen. Scroll, 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 scroll. Tatooine. Wait. These are just maps, ain't they? Uh, switch hands. Hey. So, you're the one Roland has got to help us interrogate this prisoner. I hope your Jedi powers will come in useful. This one has been most resistant. He's a Sith spy we picked up a little while ago, snooping around outside trying to get in. We thought he was suspicious and brought him inside when the Selkath weren't looking. But it seems the Sith have done a pretty good job of conditioning this guy, and we haven't been able to break him yet. What did they do to him? The Sith protect their really important spies with some sort of mental force feedback system. They can turn their minds in on themselves, so force compulsions won't affect them. Combine this with conventional training to resist interrogation, and sometimes it takes months to get them to tell what they know. Do you want to interrogate him now? Uh, sure. Well, the training the Sith gave him will protect him from most normal interrogation techniques, and also from force persuasion. We have found a few hooks you might find useful. He was with another man when he was first spotted. We think it was another spy, but we didn't manage to catch him. We also seized some personal documents he had on him when he was captured. It would seem that he's married to a woman named Tila. We checked this in our computers, and it seems to hold up. We've sent a couple of agents to investigate, but it may be a while. Uh, Resolve. You need to talk to seven people to build a case and mount evidence. What do I have to work with? What we have here is your standard issue truth serum. It should make him spill his guts in no time. But there is a catch. Catch? Because of his conditioning, he's able to resist it at small doses. But if you give him too much, his body realizes what you're trying to do and shuts his mind down completely. If you do that, you'll have to inject him with an antidote that neutralizes the truth, sir. Unfortunately, that too has a drawback. But severe pain of sundry killing him. I detect a pattern here. It causes short term. I'm not even paying attention, honestly. And this may work to your advantage because you can try the same tactic over and over again. But if you use it too much, ask him about the video feed. If you want to dark Shall we get it points, started then? Agree to help him cover it up. Otherwise, try to get him. To confess, go back to his wife again, ask her about the affair. Now you ready to go? Oh, so that's everything I had to do. He killed her. At the trial, you can either now try to get some. Not right now. 
No problem. Excuse me, I'm doing two things at once here, but I do have the answers for this puzzle, so I'm going to do this. <laughs> I'm cheating, I don't care. Dirt trip, sit pass to scroll up, scroll up, scroll up. 22. 18. 64. 2. 6. And seven. We did it. Okay, back down. I'm gonna go back to the uh, murder trial. At the trial, you can either know to try to get Sunry off, or you can say you have a recording of the event that occurred. If you have the recording, Sunry will be killed. If you go to trial, you can get him off. If you get him off. So pretty much, okay, I did everything I had to do in this quest. First let's talk to this dude. Have you managed to retrieve the data from our droid in the Sith base? No I have not. Time is a critical. What am I supposed to do with these cards I got though? May I ask? Uh, but you always... No, 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 no. There are three ways. One, you can interrogate a prisoner. Two, you can decrypt and capture Sith parts and use them to open the door to the Sith base. Or three, you can use a key will and give you and force your way into the Sith control hangar and fly outside all the city. Kick ass. So, yeah. I was doing two things at once during the episode, but I got what I got to do now. I'm doing the save file thing backwards here. Anyway, thanks for watching. Check back later for the next video. Bye.